Hello, thank you for viewing this video. In this video I'm going to go over the source code for the idle game that we were making. And this idle game is going to just have a few characters that will walk across the screen and then uh, they're going to fight with the player that's in front of them or the enemy that is in front of them. So as you can see, the uh, I can also run my mouse on these characters and it'll show what level they are. And uh, that is the health of the player as well as the health of the monster. And there you go. This merge system is also working, except that the merge items are not being used anywhere. We also have a small progress bar, which is going to show the floor number. The characters can also get hurt, and they can also uh, be eliminated. And if they get eliminated, then the game will restart. After the third, uh, after the third character, after the third enemy has been has been eliminated, uh, the boss will spawn, and the boss will have all of its stats doubled. So the attack, damage, HP, everything will be doubled. And uh, it, and that will be it basically. So you can see that uh, this is going to be now 600 because that is the boss. After that, the floor will change. So you'll see that the floor number was going to be two, and it's going to change like that. Uh, it's going there's going to be a fade out transition, and you'll see that in a moment. And uh, there you go. There's the fade out transition, and the floor number is changed. And uh, the characters are also going to have slightly more HP for this floor. The main changes that we have made is in the battle area. So if you open up the battle area control, you'll see that we have these uh, these functions for all of the various various events that can happen during the battle. So we can either win with the characters winning, or we can win with the or the enemy can actually win. So these two these two st functions have statements which are handling all of that. So you can see that we are actually telling the characters to walk after the enemy has been eliminated. Over here, the characters are going to change to the die uh, state. We also have these I enumerators, which are going to run for the fade out effect. And we also have set attack total and begin attack routine. This is for beginning the attack routine so that the players can start attacking each other. Over here, we've got the if statements for the various states. Uh, for the various events that can happen, if the enemy HP is zero, then we end battle with characters winning. If the character HP is zero, then we end battle with the enemy winning. We have animation controls here. We've got a few other animations, animation cases, in fact, and we have this: this all characters attack, all characters die. This is this is basically for that, which we have added, and we have uh, get enemy cleared on the floor so this is to get the number of enemies that we've killed on the floor and uh, that's basically it then we have a few statements for the floor let me just check where the floor is so let me just uh all right here's the game level and floor functions these are new all of these are new functions at least most of them are new functions you can see that reset floor is when the characters die so we reset the floor using this statement using these statements and we'll start the next floor using these statements of the characters win. Over here we are setting the starting value of the characters so that they switch back and we also have set character positions over here. Then we have this canvas uh, which is the stats canvas it's more or less the same except that we are actually handling some of the levels of the players over here. We have monster spawn control again and we have general character stats over here let me just go back into the source code and see what we can actually get. So in game control, yeah, that's basically it really. We, I also have certain this uh, this uh, text added on top of the player that is for handling the player level. So you can see there is also a script, new brand new script, which is going to simply handle the text that is on top of the player once the mouse is rolled over. Those are basically the major additions.